All right guys, it's Glenn here with Security Perth and today we're going to have a look at how to set up the notifications for your iOS device. Um, we are assuming that you've already downloaded the iRisco app and now it's just time to set up the notifications so that you don't miss any of your alarm events. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is to go into settings and the obvious thing to do is just to click notifications, but we're gonna start with sounds and haptics. Okay, the most important things are these two at the top, which are vibrate on ring and vibrate on silent. Uh, we want those enabled because if you put your phone into uh, mute by um, you know, flicking the little switch on the side, you, and you don't have these set, you will very easily and most likely miss the notification come through, depending on how you set up your badges and um, your notification settings in a moment. But yeah, you want it to give you a vibration. Um, if you've got an Apple Watch, it actually transfers onto that. Um, so, and what's handy about having an Apple Watch with this is that your phone will be silent, um, it will vibrate, but it'll also vibrate on your actual watch at the exact same time. So yeah, very unlikely that you'll miss an event if you've got that set up. All right, coming out of here, going back into now notifications, uh, we wanna scroll down and find the iRisco app. Okay, so first things first is to obviously have allow notifications at the top enabled. Um, we've got three different types of alert. The lock screen, meaning it comes up when the screen is obviously locked. Um, notification center, I don't really use that too much, but I've got it enabled. I mean, the more locations you've got the notifications coming through, the better in my opinion. And then we have uh, banners, which are what going to, what's gonna appear when your phone is unlocked and you're actually using it. It's gonna come in at the top of the screen. And with regard to the banner setting, you've got two options there. You've got a persistent banner and you have a temporary banner. Uh, I like to leave it as persistent. It means that you're not gonna miss it. Temporary is just gonna come up for a few seconds and then disappear again. And uh, if you're not paying attention, you may in fact miss that. Whereas persistent needs to be acknowledged, acknowledged so that um, it will go away. All right, we're obviously enabling sounds and we're enabling badges. Uh, the badges are just a little icon counter uh, on the app which shows you how many notifications you have not yet viewed or acknowledged. Okay, so that is the main things in here. There's a couple of little hidden settings that I use on my phone that you might find interesting and want to do on yours. Um, the first is to go into accessibility. So I go into accessibility and then I go down to audio and visual. So this is actually a hearing um, accessibility feature. And it actually applies to not just this, but it's pretty handy for SMSs, uh, message, you know, phone calls, etc. You can get it to flash the LED for your alerts. Um, I have it set for alerts and also when the phone is on silent. Um, and it's pretty handy. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, if you're, sitting down and suddenly your phone starts flashing. Um, it might be set to silent, it might not be set to um, vibrate, but it's pretty much gonna grab your attention if it starts to flash. So I really like that feature. Uh, one thing with regard to that is the do not disturb feature of Mac OS. And be aware that if you do have this set up, like I do, um, I've got mine um, scheduled for night time, so between 10 and 6 in the morning, I don't get any notifications, but my alarm is professionally monitored, so it's not quite as important. But if yours is not professionally monitored and you're relying on your phone to get these notifications, you wanna make sure that your DND is not turned on and you wanna make sure that it is not scheduled to come on either because you will miss these notifications, okay? so. That's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, which is a quirky thing with Apple, um, is that if you do have other devices, such as a watch, or a, it's mainly Bluetooth devices from what I've found, including headsets, etc. cetera. Um, and if you suddenly find that you're getting your notifications with sound while your phone is 
unlocked, but you're not getting it while the phone is locked, there's a very good chance that it's actually getting pushed through to your Bluetooth device. Um, and in my case, um, it's my watch, okay? So I've got the Apple Watch, and I find that when I've got those two things paired, which they are always paired, but I have Bluetooth on, for whatever reason, when my phone is switched into lock mode, I no longer get the sound. So I still get the flashing, uh, still get the vibration. And in fact, the vibrations are awesome because it comes through on the watch. So I very, very rarely miss an event. Um, but the sound doesn't come through. So we're currently in March 2020. I'm not sure if that's something that Apple is going to sort out, but at this stage, uh, might be that Risco needs to sort it out. But at this stage, that's one little issue that I see. Um, and how you resolve it is you turn off Bluetooth. Okay, so I can turn off Bluetooth and instantly those sounds come through even in locked mode. So that's just a tiny little tip for you if you're experiencing that problem and it's a problem for you. Uh, some people it doesn't make much difference. Um, all right, now next thing I've been asked is how do I change the sound on the app? Um, perhaps the default sound that coming through is one that you've got set for one of your other alerts and that's confusing you. Um, this one is not in the settings at all. This one is actually in the app itself. So if we go into the iRisco app here, um, what we're going to need to do is go into the menu and we're going to go into system settings. And under system settings, we're going to tap on the notification bell. And this is where all of the various sounds that you've got to choose from live. So have a go with those, see how that fits in with the rest of your alerts and I'm sure there'll be something there that suits you. If you get stuck, give us a call here at Security Perth and we will help you out. Um, ask for Glenn or Nikki in tech support and we will do our best to get you up and running. So thanks a lot and we will see you in the next video.